it blows your mind when you think that you're traveling 17,500 miles an hour, five miles a second, but yet you're just holding on with your fingertips as the Earth's going beneath you. We really want to go explore. We want to put our hands and our feet further away, uh, beyond what is known. What blew me away was you don't see any borders or anything. You just see blobs of blue and green and brown and white swirly clouds and white mountaintop. It's amazing. Well, astronauts Chris Cassidy and Luca Parmitano. Somewhere in the course of the months, Luca and I were up there together. We were talking about what we're going to do when we get back, what kind of fun things, cool things, competitive things. And I thought about, really, the hardest physical thing that I could train for. I thought that Ironman would be a pretty hard thing to do. And that's when I told Chris. And, then, and that's when Chris said, I want to do it too. Good luck. The nerves, the excitement, wow, this is all unfolding. All this hard work is culminating to this moment right now where we can start and get it going. It's doing something not because I know I can do it, but exactly for the opposite reason. It's because I don't know if I can do it, that it's challenging and interesting. I think that's the nature of people to explore and push yourselves and find new things and find where your personal limits are. And that's kind of how my personality is. I like to see where my own personal limits are and, and push myself there. Uh, I've read all these stories about Kona, the wind, the heat, the uphill, the, the road to Habi. You know, it, it's almost mythical. And I like that, I love it. And, and it makes it even more challenging from a mental point of view. Just like on a space launch, the astronauts in that cockpit are just the visible ones, but it goes way beyond that to all of the engineers, launch control, the people that are setting up all the facility that allow that to happen, that event to pull off, and that's what's happening here. And just thinking about, wow, the amount of work that went in to give these people the ability to cross the finish line and, and call ourselves Iron Man, that, that's something pretty special. Chris Cassidy, Seabrook, Texas. Let's welcome Chris, number 140. When I cross the finish line, it won't even be for me. I think that that finish line will be for all the people that have been supporting me through, through all this. That my, my joy will be, their joy will be shared. And the funny thing about that is that when you share joy, it, it doesn't get divided, it gets multiplied.